Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'll be making two more Christmas DIYs starting off with these four 8x10 picture frames that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I'm removing all the plastic and the backing from all my frames. I didn't want to remove these tabs, so I'm going to use my silver sharpie to go over them. I know y'all really can't tell, but this sharpie did indeed turn these silver, but not just as silver as I wanted it. As I was closing my black tabs back, I accidentally cracked my glass, so I'm just going to remove all the glass and then remove all the tabs with my small pliers. If you are going to recreate this project, then I suggest you be extremely careful with the glass and also the frames because they do break easily. So now I'm using a little hot glue and I'm going to add all my glass back to my frames. I'm being extra careful with pressing down on the glass so it doesn't break. I'm adding extra glue to the other side of the glass as well. For this next step, I'm just going to attach all four frames. I'm using my craft bowls to help hold my frames up until the glue dries a little bit and I'm also adding extra glue to the inside of my frames. This is the third frame. I'm going to use one hand to hold that up and then I'm going to use the other to add glue. Flip my frames over to attach one side and then attach the other side. To help keep all my ornaments inside my box, I'm going to use this leftover foam board to do that. I didn't have a full foam board to make a full square, so I'm just tracing what I have now and then I'm going to cut it out with an X-Acto knife. To make that full square, I'm going to just put that foam piece in and then slide another right underneath and then trace that and then cut that out. So now I'm just gluing both pieces together. Now I'm gluing my foam board to my frames. Since this box is see-through, I'm going to use some of this gold metallic tape that I purchased from Amazon to make vertical lines going straight across my foam board. And I'll be spacing them out about two to three inches apart. And I'm doing this just so it doesn't look so plain once my ornaments are all placed inside. These lines aren't perfect and that's okay because you won't be able to tell and just look how beautiful this is and I'm not even done yet. I'm wiping the outside and the inside of my glass before filling my box up. I'm using these red LED lights that I purchased from Amazon and the white is from Dollar Tree. I'll also be using a combination of these gold beaded necklaces red gems, pearls, and also the clear acrylic gems. And all of these are from the Dollar Tree. 
I'll also be adding these clear ornaments. I'm removing all the strings and the tags from all my ornaments before proceeding. I'm adding some pearls to a few of my ornaments just so it doesn't look so plain. I'm adding these gold ornaments, but I may not use the glitter ones. I'm placing my red lights in first and then I'll layer in the white ones and then I'll start to fill my box up with all my ornaments and everything. I'm literally placing my items anywhere just as long as it's evenly distributed throughout my box. I forgot to mention I also have two of these white ornaments. And I decided to add some clear gems to the bigger ornaments and also the red gems as well. I'm layering everything as I go along. If you are going to recreate this project, then I suggest using some lights with a remote. Otherwise, you will have to figure out where you're going to place your battery packs. I will be placing mines here for now because they will not be showing. My box look good as is, but I'm going to add some of this gold metallic tape that I purchased from Amazon to glam it up a little bit more. I'm amazed with how this Christmas box turned out. It's giving off a very unique and vintage look. And I love how the tape just adds volume paired with everything else. But let me know what y'all think down in the comments. For project number two, I'm starting off by spray painting my candy cane wreath with my gold metallic spray paint. Next, I'll be using more of these gold ornaments, but I'm just going to use these ones and I'm going to take the top off of all of them before proceeding. I'll be gluing these ornaments down three at a time. I'm placing my ornaments on my wreath first before gluing them down so that way I know exactly where to put the glue. Now I'm gluing these gold beaded necklaces around the perimeter of my wreath. I found it easier to just flip my wreath over and glue the beads down this way. Now I'm gluing the beads down in an S shape from one end to the other and I'm only gluing them down to the middle part of the wreath. I'm using red and acrylic gems to finish decorating my wreath. To cover up those open spaces, I'm just gluing two red gems on each side of the middle ornaments. I'm completing the same steps with the clear gems. I'm 
Now I'm using some of these faux pearls and I'm basically just going to glue them down anywhere. This beaded necklace will be the string that I use to hang my wreath. Can you say very unique? This wreath looks like it's worth a million bucks and I'm here for it. Comment your thoughts below, like and share. And if you're curious to see what I come up with next, just subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can be notified when I upload a new video.